All right, I think we're good. We have a live broadcast today, guys. So welcome, Culture Crew. You guys are in for a humongous, humongous surprise today. Great news for us who have been investing into cryptocurrency. All right, I think we're good. Um, just, uh, we have a live broadcast today, guys. I'm sorry for the audio. It's probably not the best. I'm sorry for the uh, video. I'm working all, on all of that, but I felt it was necessary to go live today so I could bring you guys some really, really great news. Uh, so I want to talk to you guys about Elon Musk tweeting out that basically tweeting out just one single word, hashtag Bitcoin. And because of that, Bitcoin soared yesterday. Um, and <laughs> I'm going to show you this. The reason why I'm I'm using uh, uh, this uh, live today, guys, is going to want to share my screen with you. And the reason why the quality is so low is I'm using Zoom. But next week, I'll have some cables that I need to give you guys some much, much better uh, definition and audio and all those good things. But I want to share with you, I want to share with you guys what Bitcoin did overnight and what Ethereum has done overnight. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys right now. So you can take a quick look at this. Look at this incredible jump, guys, from 32,000 as soon as Elon Musk tweeted out all the way up to about $38,000, guys. That's a six $6,000 move pretty much overnight. Uh, that is insanity. Let's take a quick look at the tweet that he sent out yesterday and some of the following tweets that came after that. So we have Elon here not only tweeting it out, but now he actually put it on his uh, his link in his bio, hashtag Bitcoin. That's it, just hashtag Bitcoin. There has been so many people now uh, basically retweeting this and, 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 and talking to him. And there's even someone that I follow by the name of MM Crypto who has offered Elon Musk $50,000 to be donated to the charity of his choice, as long as he admits that he's holding at least one bit of crypto, at least one, <laughs> one coin, and he will he will uh, send out fifty thousand dollars to Elon's charity of his choice. Now that is incredible. Let me just go ahead and take a look at some of these tweets that have been coming out. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think we have it here. Try to find Elon's tweet. I think it, yeah, everyone here is just retweeting his stuff, guys. And let's see some of the stuff that he's writing. Elon Musk has the kind of influence that could make Bitcoin snap to 100,000. I don't doubt that at all, guys. I'm pretty sure that Elon has the power to do that. As you guys can see, he's already gotten us this far. <laughs> I think this is exactly what Bitcoin needed because we've been stuck in a kind of a rut for the last week or two. And because of everything that's going on right now on Wall Street with the Wall Street bets, with Robinhood, with um, GameStop and all these things, uh, there's been a lot of uh, people opening up their eyes and finally waking up to seeing that the stock market is manipulated. It's a rigged system. Um, you know, you get you get people to to move mountains when funds are getting affected, but when the little guys or the, in the individual investors uh, get liquidated, nobody really cares. So what's going on right now is that people are starting to see that all of this is just a sham, and the real way to actually invest your money is having an investment in something that is completely decentralized, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, cryptocurrencies, well, some cryptocurrencies, because there's some that are actually not decentralized. But for the most part, what he's saying is a big eye opener for a lot of people. Uh, when last night people tried to sell their stuff and yesterday people were trying to sell, uh, I'm sorry, we're trying to buy stocks on, on Robinhood, on TD Ameritrade, on even Weeble, and they were getting locked out. That was kind of like, the, the, I guess, the straw that's breaking the camel's back right now, as you can see. And uh, by Elon tweeting this out, this is exactly what we all needed. Uh, I believe that uh, now um, Bitcoin is finally going to be getting wide stream adoption, even though I'm not seeing it uh, being broadcasted through the mainstream media as much. I got an eye on it right now. I'm keeping an eye on these things. But everyone who's everyone in the cryptocurrency community right now, guys, is uh, retweeting that and uh, spreading uh, the information, spreading the word. And who would have thought, right? Who would have thought that GameStop would be the catalyst for cryptocurrencies to get the much recognized attention that they're gonna be getting? Uh, and the reason why guys is like I said earlier, uh, Bitcoin is, is uh, decentralized. No one person controls it. No one can put restraints on it. The government can trap it, but they'd have to shut down the internet or make it illegal for anyone in the United States to invest. And even then they would have a hard time uh, being able to control that. So uh, I do feel like this is a uh, start of something really big. Uh, so I want to just try to find if, I, if I'm trying, I'm just trying to find some tweets here that I want to share with you guys. Shamath Palahapatia, his name is really hard to say, but I try. 
he's also uh, been coming out and uh, speaking up against the stuff that Robin Hood is doing, the stuff the short sellers have been doing. And as you can see here, uh, Chamath uh, actually um, has been very vocal on Twitter. And let me just read to you what he said here on this tweet. Uh, this is actually a new one to me. Uh, he says, uh, they both trick you into things that you are the customer, but in fact, you are the product and your data is the asset. So basically saying that all these big institutions that are coming off as like the people's um, place to invest, Robinhood, as you know, Robinhood has that connotation that you steal from the rich and give to the poor. Uh, meanwhile, it's actually the opposite. That Robinhood is being run by uh, some of the largest clearinghouses and market makers in the world. They're run by Citadel and Citadel basically is pulling all the strings. So yesterday you have the CEO of Robinhood um, on all these news networks and, you know, basically being like a puppet on a string talking about how Robinhood's for the people and we did it for your own good. Meanwhile, the only one, uh, the only ones who were benefiting were the institutions and funds who were trying to um, get out of their positions at a lower price. As I don't know if you guys saw this yesterday, but yesterday the GameStop price dropped down to about $110. And then immediately coming right back up to about like two or 300 bucks. And that's because all of these funds were able to then uh, get liquidated their positions at, or, or, or get out of their positions uh, at a large scale. And nothing's going to move the stock up that high, guys. Because remember, we weren't able, or let's just say we, because I'm not involved. I haven't been buying any of that. But the residential, the, res, uh, the, the retail investor uh, was not able to make any purchases yesterday. So it wasn't them buying the, it wasn't them buying the stock. It wasn't them that was driving up the price. It was the institutional investment that was, and that's plain to see. He then went on to say that these assets are then sold to true customers who pay uh, them money and always at your expense, stop being tricked. And Chamath also said, guys, that, you know, stop using Robinhood, stop using TD Ameritrade. I'm guilty of using TD Ameritrade, uh, stop using, you know, even Weeble. But one thing I will give the CEO of Weeble a credit is that he did go on last night on the major uh, news networks, and he did uh, state that he did state that the uh, people that were locking down their acquisitions and purchases were the market movers. I think they they might be uh, their market mover might be Apex or Citadel. I'm not 100% sure of that, but he was being 100% transparent. So at least I give Weeble the credit that they were able to be somewhat honest. Uh, so thank you for that, Mr. Weeble, the guy who, uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, so that's what I want to talk to you guys about today, guys, and uh, what this means for crypto. This is definitely very, very big for crypto. I see that now the stock price, I'm sorry, the prices on the on cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin and Dogecoin. Dogecoin has been going out of control, guys. You can't even buy it. I mean, I can't even log into Kraken. Uh, that's one of the exchanges that you can use to buy and sell crypto. I can't even log in. There's not even a way for you to log in. <laughs> Look, let me show you. I, I'm going to give you guys a quick insight on what I'm talking to you about right now. Let me show you this. When I go to try it to log into Kraken, we'll be back soon. <laughs> we're, we're very sorry for the inconvenience, but due to heavy load, we're experiencing some issues and the service is currently unavailable. You can't, and I've, I've been hearing reports that you can't even you can't even buy Dogecoin on uh, Robinhood or there, there's restrictions or all this stuff. Oh my God, Robinhood, we definitely need to start a movement called, uh, you know, hashtag boycott Robinhood or cancel Robinhood or something because I, I think right now people are starting to see that Robinhood is really uh, just a deception in disguise or it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. So we definitely need to make our way away from that. So to while I'm on the topic of Dogecoin, let me show you guys what, insanity we're seeing with dogecoin uh this thing was trading at less than a penny guys just a, a day or two ago then it ran up all the way to about i don't know how high were we we were about four four cents and started to get a lot of attention and it dropped back down to three cents and then it went up guys this is this is crazy seven cents now seven cents doesn't seem like a lot of money guys i understand that but seven cents for something that has been trading for less than a penny is more is almost like a 10x Return. So if you would have put a thousand dollars in in uh, Dogecoin, you would have gotten ten thousand dollars back. And this is what people are trying to do. They're talking about bringing Dogecoin up to a dollar, guys. That is insane. That would be more than one hundred x return. So right now we're currently floating at around 
six cents, but I'm telling you guys, people are buying in on these dips, riding the wave. And I'm not going to lie, guys, I wanted to take a couple bucks that I didn't, I didn't really need it. So a couple hundred dollars and just throw it into Dogecoin yesterday, but I can't, everything is locked up. As you can see, I, I can't even do it. I tried doing it on my app and it doesn't let me convert uh, USD to Dogecoin. So I'm going to have to try to use another exchange just to keep my eye on things. But this is Frankly, it's, it's, it's insane, guys. So next thing I want to talk to you guys about is what would happen if Elon Musk bought if Elon Musk bought some Bitcoin for his company, for Tesla, uh, for SpaceX, or even personally, what this would do on top of what it is, it's already doing. Uh, it's, it's pretty much sky's the limit. I'm going to be honest with you guys, uh, because Michael Saylor from MicroStrategies has already been very vocal about... Uh, Bitcoin and what Bitcoin can do for uh, S&P 500 companies, large companies, and what it would do, what it's already done for his balance sheet, guys. He he's the CEO of a, a company that was trading at about 100 bucks a share. After he reported in the news that he uh, then went on to that he then went on to turn his treasury, all the money he had in his books, into Bitcoin. His company has surged up to as high as 600 dollars a share. Let me just check on where his, uh, let's just check out on where his company's trading at right now. Let's try, let's check this out. Micro strategy, micro strategy USD. Let's check this out. It is almost at $700. It actually is, it, it was at 695 for a high uh, today. So unreal. Hopefully you guys are catching some of these gains. I really hope you are because uh, I know that I am. I've been investing in crypto now for the, towards the tail end of last year and the beginning of this year. So hopefully you guys are catching these gains along with me. But if, if you are guys, uh, give, me, uh, give me some of your comments here, guys. I wanna hear what you guys are doing. Are you guys invested in crypto? Do you guys have some Bitcoin, Ethereum? Do you guys are holding on to anything? Are you catching these gains? Have you seen the tweet uh, that uh, Elon put out last night that then he turned, instead of a tweet, he turned it into his bio? Uh, the only thing in his bio right now, which is humongous, guys. And that's another thing, too. Elon Musk, he can get he can get sanctioned by the SEC for putting hashtag, I don't know, hashtag, let's say Tesla or hash, well, maybe not because he's a CEO. But let's say he put in hashtag Apple or hashtag Google, and then the stock runs up incredibly. If Elon Musk has shares in that stock and it does that, he could be fined millions of dollars just like he did just like he got fined when he tweeted out uh, i think the price of tesla is too high when he tweeted that out he got a 10 million dollar fine but him tweeting out bitcoin the sec can't do anything because bitcoin is not a security it is not monitored by them and it can't be monitored by them so by him doing this it's almost like an act of rebellion it's almost kind of like telling us come on guys get wake up get on the boat or get on the spaceship and let's go to Mars because things have to change. Imagine if the stock market was run like cryptocurrencies, where it was decentralized, where there is not one person who can manipulate or, or entity they can manipulate it or an SEC, they can be the all saying power um, saying that this person is right or that person is right, or let me change the rules uh, You know, in the middle of the game, basically what the SEC has already done. Uh, another thing, another thing guys is, uh, please give this video uh, a like. Give it as many likes as you possibly can because YouTube is censoring this kind of content. And if you don't believe me, you think I'm maybe some kind of uh, uh, if <laughs> conspiracy theorist, I, I will tell you this right now. I've When I go on my feed, I usually get all my stock videos and my crypto videos. Um, I'm not getting any of that right now. I actually have to go in there and look for the content to, to watch it. And I also check my videos out and anything that I've covered let me just show you this. Anything that I've covered that has been related to the Wall Street bets and GameStop fiasco is not getting any views at all. So when I click on and when I click on my videos and I go to my analytics and I go to see how much YouTube is recommending my videos, it's barely recommending my videos to anyone, even though it's getting better traction better more likes more engagement more comments and more more everything than even the ones that i was doing on similar topics just a week ago as you can see this one i only had 13 comments uh this one had uh 
uh, 571 uh, views in like a day. And obviously stock videos, they, they go down really quickly. And this one is getting way more comments and way more and way more likes compared to views. And as far as this one goes, look how many people YouTube decided to show this to almost 9,000 people. So YouTube right now is definitely censoring. They're definitely censoring what is being seen right now. And if you don't believe me, I also want to show you what, what Google is doing right now. What Google is currently doing right now for Robinhood. Check this out. Google salvaged Robinhood's one-star rating by deleting nearly 100,000 negative reviews. This just happened yesterday, guys. Google and these major institutions, guys, they would, <laughs> I've had Google reviews that were fake. I've had Google reviews that were from people who weren't even our clients. And I've tried to get them removed. And you know what they tell me? Uh, we'll look into it. We'll get back to you. I don't hear from them for weeks at a time. And then when you do hear from them, it's usually no, they're, they're not going to take it down. And I mean, this, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's unfair because they treat us like we're guilty until proven innocent, but they treat Robin Hood, as you can see here, 100,000 negative reviews. Their account was down to a one star. I mean, you can't, go, you can't go any lower than that. But because of the mass deleting of negative reviews, I believe they've got their uh, ratings back up to about a four star. Let's go ahead and check them out on Google and see if we can find their reviews. Let's go ahead and see if we can find. Here we go. 4.3. Look at this, guys. 4.3 on Google Play. I'm not sure if this is the, the section. 4.8 here on, on, on Apple. <laughs> I think Barbie Apple is getting in on the getting in on it as well. But I'm just taken back by what Google is actually doing to facilitate what Robinhood is uh, basically doing to these retail investors, which is very unfair. And I'm sorry, guys, I know I'm getting all over the place. Uh, but where, what I was talking to you about earlier is what, what what's going to happen to Bitcoin now that Elon Musk is um, vocal about it. And not only that, but Michael Saylor, the Michael Saylor, he is the CEO of MicroStrategies, like I mentioned to you earlier. He is having a conference, a virtual conference on February 3rd and February 4th. And he's going to have over a thousand CEOs of major, major institutions, major publicly traded companies, S&P 500 companies. And they're going to be talking about how they can diversify their assets, their holdings into Bitcoin as well. Uh, so if you haven't yet taken the time to look into investing in cryptocurrency, I'm telling you right now, next month is going to be a humongous month for crypto. So if I were you, I'd be looking right now, guys, into getting into cryptocurrency investing and uh, do your research. Don't listen to what I'm saying, but as long as you guys take some time out of your day, to do that, I guarantee you guys I have a big month in February. If we don't have a big day today, I'm, I think in today is just war is just getting warmed up. All right. Uh, next thing I want to talk to you about is that this what's happening right now is a uh, is a revolution, guys. It's uh, how would I say it, it's just the beginning of something that is uh, not going to end today. It's not going to end for a while. It's going to it's going to end in God knows when, but. What I'm seeing is that people want something that they can control themselves. They're tired of getting pushed around. The fact that we have what we have now, we have social media and we're able to give each other uh, information, free knowledge and things like that. Thanks to YouTube, thanks to Reddit and all these places that have uh, recently come out with all of this great information. Uh, because of this, guys, it's, it's really becoming apparent that, er, that things are broken. And with that being said, the monetary system is broken. A lot of things are broken, as you know. Uh, inflation is always being uh, is always being told. It's, you're always being told that inflation is low, and we don't have enough inflation. But at the, uh, in reality, we have inflation is uh, disguised because they don't take certain things into in, into perspective when they're calculating inflation. But if um, we start giving more value to things such as decentralized money, like Bitcoin represents, we can have a totally different. Uh, 
economic platform to build off of guys. And that, that can not only just empower us, but think about the third world countries that still have no real money and that are basically depending on uh, family members to send them money to be able to survive because what they make in their countries can't, you know, you can't live off of that. This is insane. If we're able to use decentralized money, these people can come out of poverty. These, and these countries can, can become first world nations and we can put a level, we can, we can build a level playing field. So yeah, I look forward to that. So as far as the other things I want to talk to you about, we were mentioning Dogecoin. Uh, Dogecoin has had, or Dogecoin has had such a big, humongous boost that it was ranked 33 out of all cryptos. And, and then it's gotten up to about seventh and I think seventh place. And now I think it's floating somewhere around 12th 12, 12th place, but you can't even buy the stuff. So I, I don't know how, how high it'll end up going. If there'll be a way of, if there's going to be a way of also uh, controlling the purchase of a Dogecoin, which I think uh, Kraken and some other exchanges are already having a hard time keeping up with demand and maybe even having a hard time with liquidity. So this is going to be real interesting to see how this plays out. And uh, the other thing too, guys, is I think right now, as, as you're seeing here, let me just share with you uh, something I've, uh, I've noticed. Let me see if I can find this with you. This article right here is uh, definitely giving the attention to uh, crypto that it deserves. Uh, thanks, Robinhood. Crypto, uh, crypto will maybe take it from here. Well, I do believe that crypto will take it from here, and crypto is going to be what is going to get um, become come out of this uh, the biggest winner. Um, there are going to be a lot of losers. And I'll tell you this, or I'll be honest with you. There's going to be a lot of losers. The the, the funds are losing. I feel the retail investor is going to end up losing once the SEC starts cracking down on what's going on. Uh, the uh, the exchanges such as Robinhood and TD Ameritrade, uh, and especially um, Interactive Brokers, guys. The CEO from Interactive Brokers went on uh, the news last night, and he was basically dogging uh, the retail investors. So I would steer clear of anything uh, related to Interactive uh, Interactive Brokers. Uh, but I will tell you the one thing that I believe is going to emerge triumphant from this whole fiasco that we're going through is crypto. It is because it's going to bring attention to everyone. It's going to bring the attention to crypto that everyone uh, is going to start to finally realize that we need something that we can invest in, that we control, that is not manipulated, that is not controlled by a central government, something that we need um, be able to, it's real money for the people. So uh, keep an eye on that. And that's why I keep uh, reiterating, guys, what's going to happen to crypto or, or Bitcoin or anything in the short term? It's just noise. So even if it doesn't go up any higher today, if it comes back down, you're going to start to see there are there's going to be some major moves, humongous moves in uh, the crypto space. So hopefully you guys should check that out. But uh, remember, do your own research. And uh, lastly, I just want to thank you guys. I don't know if this stream is um, working out too well. I don't see any uh, comments here. I don't know if Zoom me broadcasting through Zoom allows me to take any comments from you guys. If you if you are able to leave a comment, please just try to leave a comment, a test comment or anything in the in the chat section. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to uh, bring this to you before I you know it gets any busier today. I will be putting out more of a more produ produced video production video on some other things that are developing right now. So look out for that later on. Remember, guys, give this video a thumbs up so more people can see it. Because like I mentioned to you uh, that uh, YouTube is monitoring all this content. They don't want you guys to really uh, see what's behind the curtain. So make sure that uh, make sure that you please give this video a like, share it with anyone who you think may need to see this. Uh, if you do have questions, leave it in the ch chat section. I'm not sure. I don't think you guys are able to leave a, a comment here because I'm using Zoom. Next week, I'll be using some of my own uh, software that I have for going live. I just want to apologize because I did want to just get this information out as soon as possible. So guys, head on over there to your favorite exchanges. If you need one, I have an exchange down in the description section that I'm using Coinbase. That's still pretty much working uh, normally. They are experiencing a lot of volume. Uh, I looked up to see if there was any other exchanges that were broken right now. And uh, I believe uh, I believe Kraken is the one that's having the major issues. Let me see here if we have. Oh yeah, so I did look up where you could buy Dogecoin and I'm seeing here that people are suggesting that you can buy uh, Dogecoin if anyone's looking to do that on Bit, um, Bitrex and Bitrex. I'm sorry, that's Bitrex. 
And um, some of these, and also Binance. Uh, people were saying that you could still buy it on Binance. So check it out over there if you guys are looking into uh, buy that. I think there's another exchange called Exodus. And most, for the most part, people are saying Binance. Let's see what else we've got. Oh yeah, we've got this very interesting tweet that I believe uh, Elon shared a while back. I just wanna share this with you quickly so you guys can get a quick laugh out of this. And this is uh, how you know that Elon is definitely on the crypto train. He uh, tweeted this out, Dogecoin hitting $1. <laughs> and it's basically taking over the entire world. We all agreed to give 10% to local animal shelters. That's pretty funny. So if, um, if you guys haven't done so yet, even if you want to do it as a spoof and you want to buy yourself some Dogecoin, I think you could still do it. Uh, you can still do it on those exchanges that I just mentioned to you. Uh, Binance is one of them. And Bittrex, I think, is another that you guys can use. I don't get, uh, I'm not endorsed by them or anything like that, but if you guys want to check them out, you definitely can't do it on Coinbase. I will tell you that because Coinbase is really limited to only a certain few number of coins, which is unfortunate because I like their interface. Gemini is the same way. You can only get a couple of, you can only get a couple of coins on either one of their exchanges. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, all right, that's about it, guys. I'm really disappointed in what Google has done, how they basically how they basically monitored the internet. They've censored the internet. Uh, so thumbs down to Google, uh, huge thumbs down to Robinhood. So if you guys are Robinhood users, I would definitely consider getting off of that platform. Uh, there should be a mass boycott on the way that uh, Robinhood is handling their this situation, on the way that Interactive Brokers is definitely handling the situation, on the way that uh, a lot of these exchanges are acting because we now know that it's okay to be naked short on a stock if you're a fund, but it's not okay to purchase stock when you're trying to be part of a movement. It's not okay. So we know now, and uh, we have to take matters into our own hands. So uh, thank you guys for watching today's live stream. I do apologize again for the uh, poor audio, poor video. Just wanted to get this information out there to you guys. Give this video, please, a big thumbs up so uh, YouTube can stop censoring these videos. And uh, I'll be back here later on today, guys, with a better produced video. So sorry for the impromptu information. Sorry for all the filler words, all the ums, and all the screen shares that I had to do in order to get my point across. But the, the main point here, guys, is um, go out there and start doing some of your own research and start investing into things that you can control, things that no one else can get in and uh, manipulate. So thank you, guys. God bless. I love you guys. And I'll see